Why well, make a recording of using a balance? It's easy, isn't it? Let's see Ben weigh out half a gram of copper sulfate. When I said it was easy, I meant it was easy to make mistakes. Let's see now how to do it properly. Make sure all the doors are closed on the balance. Put the sample bottle on the balance, close the door and zero. Take out the sample bottle, never weigh on the balance. All the weighing should be done outside the balance. Put a small amount in the bottle, back onto the balance just to see what we've got. It is easier to add than take out. I haven't got enough there so I'm putting another small amount in. Again do it carefully so you don't spill. Close the door again. Now that's enough what I need so I will record the weight. Put the weight in your book, never put it on your sleeve on a small piece of paper. If you can remember, book to balance. Now we're going to empty the copper sulphate into the beaker and put the weighing bottle back onto the balance. This is called weighing by difference. I will record now the weight of the sample bottle and take that away from my original weight. That will give me the exact weight of copper sulphate I'm going to use in the experiment. And lastly, screw the lid back on the bottle. Now shall we go and see what Ben did and talk over what he did wrong? Now he hasn't teared it, so how is he going to know what he's going to use? He's also committing the crime of weighing on the balance, so any spillages will go on the balance. He hasn't closed the doors, and he's weighed too much out, so he's putting the excess back into the bottle. You should never do this. He hasn't closed the doors, and where's he going to write it? On his sleeve. Now this is a common occurrence. Please write into your lab books. And he's left the top off the bottle.